So none of these cubes got to the bottom of the issue. We're back with this any Cubic Cobra S1. I printed this in the test video for it. We'll look at it a little bit better in the light here in a second, but it did something weird with the color up here. And I don't know why. I don't know if it was this printer. I don't know if it was some setting on this file. I've used this file before. I don't know if it was their filament, if there was just a weird spot in here, but that doesn't make sense because of the way the banding is. So I'm gonna print a bunch of 20 millimeter cubes the first variable we're going to try changing is the speed. And I'm gonna see if this was maybe a speed issue where it like slowed down or something. Glad that's plastic and not glass. Because I just wanna to get to the bottom of it. Someone suggested in the comments of the video where I reviewed this that maybe it was the speed and I'm finally getting around to testing that out. I'm gonna get this filament in that filament dryer. Um, it is raining outside. It's still only like 30% humidity here, but you know. That is the one nice thing about this is it does, that is the one nice thing about this, it does have the uh, filament dryer built into the uh, filament management system. So pretty cool. This is the Vernal height adjusting standing desk. This is kind of like their normal like base model. They do have other models. The entire setup shipped in two boxes. This entire setup that you see shipped in three boxes. The file cabinet was in one, this was in one, and the desk was in one. If you get just the desk, it comes in two boxes. You get one that's got the tabletop and then you have the legs and all of that stuff that comes in a separate box. Really easy to do. This is rated for 264 pounds, although it does have a max load of up to 355 pounds. I'm only gonna ever have about 100 on here, two lasers, which will be about 100, or some printers and stuff. So under 100, it's gonna be great for me. The noise level on this is really nice. A real nice whir. Like you could have a kid sleeping in the same room and do this, and I don't think they would even notice. It does one and a half inches per second. It's designed for users that are from five feet three to six foot nine inches. Pretty great. Um, I'm using this out here. Now it will actually go lower if the file cabinet isn't there. So we're not gonna go to the lowest setting, but I'm never gonna be using that. Most of the time I'm out here, I wanna stand up, but I like that I can raise it to the exact height. Like if I need to put something together and there's a screw, you know, I can have it at one height. If I need to screw something higher, then I can lower it. Anytime I'm gonna work with anything that might scratch the surface, I'll just throw a towel on it or a moving blanket. I'm not using this as an actual work desk. I'm using this as a workshop desk. So my use case is gonna be a little bit different than yours. If you're just doing your normal desk stuff on here, you'll be fine. But I'm gonna have like metal parts and stuff on here and I don't wanna scratch it. It's easy to grab one of those moving blankets and make sure I don't or cut a piece of cardboard to size like I'm gonna do for my lasers because the bottom of them tend to scratch things up. The 3D printer, not so much. It does have a child lock mode, so you can keep kids from messing with it. You do have um, three memory modes here on this one, so I can say I like this height, I can, I think, do memory, and then one, because it has wheels. I got the optional casters. You can have the rubber feet that come on it by default, or plastic feet, whatever they are, but I went with the caster so I can slide it around the garage because I'm not exactly sure where I want it. And it's kind of heavy and awkward to move on your own. I'd have to walk it and it would take forever, but I can move it easily when my wife is not here. I do need to lock the casters before I get this 3D printer going because it's gonna rock a little. I don't want it to slowly scoot across the floor. So remind me to do that guys. But yeah, this is the Vernal desk. I really love this thing. But let's come down here into the light real fast and take a look at this plastic. Now, as you can see here in the natural light, see that banding, how it did the color different there? I'm, I'm not sure what that was about. It, it's kind of hard to notice, but it only happens where this was. And I just, I don't know. I don't know if this slowed down for this section because this printed, you know, vertical like this. So, so we're going to try it with the speed and see what happens. I redid the uh, calibration on the printer. So it's used to being out here on this desk. Let me get the filament in the machine and then I'll run inside and start the 20 millimeter cubes and we'll come back and take a look at them. I have a bunch of variations set up. It's gonna go ahead and print those. I just realized I don't have anything to catch the poop, so I guess the poop's going on the ground for this. Um, remind me to print a poop catcher. But we'll see, I have 25 millimeter uh, variations on all the different cubes. The text is gonna be printed on the top so we can keep track of which is which. So I guess we'll just compare them in better lighting inside and we'll kind of look at them compared to this too to see what happens. We may not discover anything with the speed settings. I don't think I saved the modifications I made to the file for this. I just have the original one that I've done previously on the X1C. Uh, actually not on the X1C, on the uh, Bamboo A1. Uh, well, been a while. Uh, <laughs> So we'll take a look. Maybe we'll see some color variations. Maybe it was literally just the filament. Maybe there was 
But I, I don't think so because the way the lines were done, like, I, it has something to do with this and I'm just not sure what. So maybe we'll figure it out, maybe we won't. I've completed my first batch of testing and it's not looking like speed makes too much of a difference. I'm starting to think that it has something to do with that pattern here on the side. And because it's, it's right where that is. And I just don't understand, but it's on the bottom too. So it's not like it was a section of the filament. I'm not sure what to try next. And it does do it inside too. It's just harder to see. It, it, it's almost like the layer here is just different for some reason, but I've printed this before and it doesn't look like this on the, on the bamboo, on the A1. But for some reason on this, it is. And I just, I don't understand. Now there is color variation here in the speeds. You can kind of tell just from that height. Oop, let me get them in frame there. So you can see like, you know, that's a little darker. That's a little darker. The, but the hundreds also a little darker. So I, I just don't understand unless the heat is fluctuating, but then why would the heat fluctuate for that? Because it, it pushed out that? You would think that if it did like the black purge in there or something, then this would be darker, not lighter. So I, I don't know. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this model and I'm gonna slice it and then just print a portion of it, but I'm gonna change the color that I use here. That way we can do a much quicker test. We'll just maybe do like a half inch of it or something and see if we get the same kind of thing going and then kind of think and go from there. I don't have a lot of this gray left, so I can't like redo the whole thing. It uses quite a bit and creates an insane amount of waste because of the multicolor. I don't even have enough to print it single color, I don't think. So we'll try a slice and investigate from there. So none of these cubes got to the bottom of the issue. I just don't understand that line. So I decided to print it 25% the size. It always boggles my mind how that's 25% of that because I don't know, math is witchcraft. But you can see here, if it focus, we got the banding on this too. So I think it's just something with that printer with this is causing that banding issue. And I even did it in one color in case it was something to do with the black. So I'm not sure why that happened on this one, but not on the one I printed on the A1. If you have any ideas, please let me know. I would like to get to the bottom of that. Um, it's just gonna bother me. Like it doesn't matter, but it's going to bother me, especially cause now I have to consider when I print on this printer, like, is this just a thing? Is it something with this file that the creator had sorted out for the bamboo ecosystem? But when I brought the file over to any cubic, you know, something went a little, you know, one of the settings didn't get transferred or something. I don't know. But if you do know, please let me know because I would really like to know.